Hello everyone, my nickname is Angry and these are my preview analysis for Game of Thrones Episode 5 Season 7. So, let's start with the things that are pretty clear. After battle near Blackwater, Daenerys has decided what to do with captured Lannister soldiers. They are either going to bend the knee or die. It's ridiculous how much she's obsessed with bending the knee these days, right? <laughs> but seriously, this is going to be her approach towards all people of Westeros who still haven't joined her side. They either do so or they die. She is slowly becoming the mad queen we are all speculating about. Into this comes Tyrion and Varys who are going to step up and talk to her some sense about not murdering so many people. After all, she has already said that she didn't come to Westeros to become Queen of Ashes. On the other side of the war, for the Iron Throne, Cersei is still sure that she is going to manage and defeat Daenerys even though she has three full grown dragons. But we have to bear in mind that Lannister army isn't quite done yet, it was only half or less of all their forces, so there is enough to defend the King's Landing and there are still Ironborn who could help with that. So we know that should be yet another battle in this episode and I am not quite sure whether it will be in King's Landing. I would say that for this time the show will start giving some space to another war that's yet going to happen. Far far in the north of Vestos where Brennan used his skills to obtain some knowledge about movement of white walkers who are coming really soon. The most ridiculous thing that we got to see in this preview is that John actually knows about Bran's presence in Winterfell, which could mean that he knows about Arya as well. So the dreams about full Stark reunion are becoming true. So I would say that instead of getting another full mind blowing battle sequence, we will get John back up on the north fighting some white walkers. But that's just my prediction. Before I end this video I would like to say a few things about Jaime and Drogon and their fate. I personally think that the theory about Drogon being poisoned is really good, but it's simply not the way he should go. And Jaime, well, you probably saw all the jokes about Game of Thrones lakes, so I would say that he will survive, for sure, but that would mean that he will get captured by Daenerys, which wouldn't be his first time in capture, and for me it's something that I don't want to see, because I still believe that Jaime is the one true killer of Cersei, it would really redeem the character and I would love to see that. So we shall see, hopefully very soon. And that's all I wanted to tell you guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, if you did be sure to subscribe. And if you want to watch some of my previous videos, here they are. See ya soon!